Hello everyone, Sonley here, and welcome back to another episode of Truly Bedrock Season 2. Today, we're going to be working on a bunch of different storage tech, filters, item sorters, and all kinds of storage solutions for our farming area of bases. We have a lot of farms in this area, and currently we have no storage system at all for any of it. Like with our iron farms, I gotta fly up here and try not to miss or die, and then collect the iron. It's, uh, it's not really a good solution. So in today's episode, we're going to try and be basically combining the entire base and tie it all together into one big storage system that is going to be down underneath the base, underneath the ocean monument. And we've cleared out a little bit of room down here in between episodes. As you can see, we got some of the pillars installed and we've kind of lowered the floor a little bit as well. So if we walk around to this side, this is where the main storage system should be going. I have no idea how big it's going to be or what it's going to be composed of, but that's what we're going to be figuring out in today's episode. So the first task for this episode is to actually figure out what we're farming. Is it kind of bad that I forget everything that we've built in this area? Like we have a lot of different farms. So I need to go around and collect every single different item that we are farming. That way we can set up a storage system for it. Oh, and by the way, uh, something's, something's wrong with the moon. As you can see, it's turned into a face, and it says Beardstone Socks, which I'm pretty sure is the best billboard in the history of advertisements. There's literally an advertisement for Beardstone Socks on the moon, and that is not something that you see every day. <laughs> You know, they're kind of onto something there. I wonder if I can hire someone to, like, put my face on the moon and say subscribe to Silent. Because that's a thing, as you know, everyone should definitely do. Like, every single person that's ever been on the internet, ever, should totally subscribe to the channel. So I feel like putting my face on the moon would be a pretty fun little thing. And then also, of course, my face is just, like, absolutely beautiful. Who would not want to look at this at all times of the night? I mean, just look at that. Look at my lovely, lovely eye. You know you want to see this. That's why you're on this video, right? <laughs> So starting at the bottom of the base and working our way up, we have nine different items that we're farming. Of course, kelp, bamboo, guardian heads from the guardian farm. We got prismarine shards and crystals, normal cod, iron ingots, and poppies. And then of course we need a section for storing iron blocks as well because we have a ton of iron. Working our way up to the squid farm also introduces a bunch of other items that we need to store, such as bones and then salmon and then of course ink sacks. There's a lot of additional items that we're going to be getting from this thing as well so we have string we got rotten flesh and arrows gunpowder and <laughs> all of this other random junk as well no big deal we're only farming 8 16 uh 17 18 19 20 21 22 different items plus all the like subcategory of items that are these ones like the bows and the leather caps uh yeah we're farming a lot of things in this area and we are not done so the final tally of items farmed is exactly uh 27 or so as you can see we got a lot of different things that we're getting from this area and we're not even done yet we can technically build even more farms so as you can see we're gonna have to have an overflow like junk collection area just for all the random non-stackable bows weapons tools and armor that we get from the mob farm because of course we're using trident killers on that so it applies the looting effect and acts as a player kill so that's how we're getting potions and of course mob heads and all these random junk items too but wait there's even more i have now acquired at least 32 different items that we need to sort and the smart person would actually add a couple extra like filler spaces in their storage system in case they make more farms and have more things to sort so this is going to be the current lineup of items i realized that we're going to be producing a bunch of cooked salmon and cooked cod along with needing scaffolding and slime block storage well anyway the idea was this area is 50 blocks long and 50 blocks wide of course i don't know or care how tall it is uh, okay it's three it's eight blocks tall <laughs> so if we leave nine blocks of blank space on either end that leaves a 32 wide gap directly in the middle and we could fill up absolutely every single block of this entire area with a uh, slice of an item filter and that would be beautiful 
However, my next idea, which I actually think is a little bit better, is to use these four wide or these oh these are five wide gaps okay that would work even better yeah use these five wide gaps between all of the prismarine pillars from the ocean monument above for all of your sorting systems so that would mean that you get a significant amount of storage system and then that gives you some in between area as well to do additional redstone in case things get more complicated and that's going to make it so that our system can store significantly more than 9000 items per hour we have a lot of farms in this area and just the kelp and bamboo farm alone is way more items than a standard item sorter can handle. So I'm thinking every single slice that goes in between these pillars of the ocean monument would kind of act as its own individual little item sorter. And then maybe we can have one line that ties it all together for just dumping in random junk items every now and again. Anyway, let me go ahead and do some counting and I'll figure out what we need to do. Yeah, so this idea would kind of work out. So we have five slots there, five there, and then we would have a 14 here in the middle for like all the standard generic items that we're really not gonna have to do anything special with, like the rotten flesh and all of these other things that just need a basic item sorter. And then we would have another five slots there and then another five slots over here for the problem items, like the non-stackables and the poppies that we gotta turn into bone meals and then of course the potion sorter we'll probably want to do something special with so i think this is going to work out rather well actually i got to do a little bit of mining and clear out all the areas behind all of this and of course there's water everywhere this entire area is nothing but water caves it's gonna take seven hours to mine this out watch i'll, I'll see you in i'll see you in seven hours ah Pro tip, never build underneath an ocean, or in an ocean, or generally around water ever. Okay then, so all of the area is now mined out. That right there is actually the northern kelp farm. So we can't really go any further this direction. As you can see, if we break these blocks, we got kelp and wa'a. So yeah, we gotta be careful about that. And we can't break these blocks because that's holding up the sand. However, we can uh not break these blocks either then okay yeah so we just can't go any further this direction let's just seal that back up that's a problem for later i'll put a torch there to remind me that i broke that sand and therefore broke a kelp so yeah this is a fairly decent area to work with as you can see we got water dripping from the ceiling basically everything in this area is holding up gravel which is of course the ocean floor so if you break any of this then you more or less just get straight wa'a and of course that's gonna flood everything down here so kind of a bad area to build in so i decided to raise the roof by a block and uh, this happened. <laughs> it might actually be kind of cool to have a glass roof in this area and then maybe we could like see into the sorting system. I just want to get a little bit more ceiling height in here that way we can have a slightly taller storage system and store more items. So I'm just going to cover this up with stone for the time being and if we feel like it we can come through here and put a nice a proper glass ceiling on it at some point in the future. So we have a six block tall area back here that we can work with. We can't really raise it up much higher because of, you know, Laotian. So we're just going to have to live with a six block tall area for now. That means that we can have four double chests stacked on top of each other for storage. And then the item filters and water streams are going to be going two blocks above that as well. So that's going to be completely flush with the ceiling. Now we could of course lower down the floor. We can lower down the floor essentially as much as we want to. Because we do have quite a bit of room and that would be fine too. Hey look at that. We got a little bit of a shrimey over here here that's because i put down these blocks naturally go back into the slime farm good there you go thank you anyway as i was saying i am actually quite fine with just having four double chests of room that is going to be more than enough storage for the vast majority of things that we're going to be sorting in our system and anything that is not enough room for we can always just assign it like two slots like this one can be for kelp and that one can be for kelp as well so i'm gonna go ahead and build up some of these item filters and then while i'm doing this some very interesting stuff happened 
the other day while I was AFKing at the Guardian Farm, Liara and Jesse B stopped by with a little bit of an interesting request. So check that out for a minute, and then when I come back, we'll have a whole bunch of item filters over here. I see him. I see him. Hello? Down oh, here, Jesse. I, I see, I see. Silent. I see. Hello? Silent. Silent. He's, he's AFK. I'm Silent. Right. Are we going to have to Discord pink? Silent. Silent. Hello? The, the damage noises. Silent. What? Oh, hi. Hi. How's it going? Oh, hi. 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 <laughs> pest um, extermination services. This endermite's um, here. Yeah, we provide the pest and the extermination. Okay. Um, okay. So, um, so we have you? Help. Yes. Help. Okay. This seems rather urgent. Yeah. I mean, there's gas spawning underneath the, the villager thing. So that's urgent. Um, what villager but, thing? What ghasts? What dimension are we talking about? You know, our trading hall? Yeah, overworld. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Overworld. Overworld? Yeah. Yes. Try to kill us. It was, it was good times. Can we can we put them into the, the gas blaster? That sounds convenient. I mean, probably. That That's way easier part. than grabbing them from the nether. Okay, Silent. Yes? I have a question for you. Okay. I know, I, I know you're a zombie piglin, but do you know how to speak piglin? Wow. Just going to assume that I know? Yes. Uh, yes. Possibly. Maybe a little bit. Oh. I might okay. be some rusty. Okay. And can um, you make a translator for us so or, we can understand stand piglin? I yeah. mean, I could translate maybe. Okay. Ooh. Or okay. or I guess um, if you want to automate it. Yeah, I could I could probably automate well, that. Well, I mean, I guess it's probably quicker if you just want to come with us and um Okay, you have to promise that you're not going to turn our friends into a farm, okay? No promises. Silent, do you have any gold armor? Uh, I don't need it. I'm they're, they're, I'm friendly with them. We're cousins. We're we're on great terms. I assure you. Okay. I'll um follow. Follow. Is this the right one? Is it the next one? Jesse, do you remember which one it is? I think it's this one. Is it a lava door? Yes, oh, it's a lava oh. door. Oh, Hello. kind of. That's sneaky. Yep, this one. Okay. Yep. There we go. Oh, very follow. sneaky. Yeah. Um. I mean, we did say that like we're friends. Don't want to be farm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> friends that. not farm. Don't, okay. Don't yeah, friend kill friends. Thank you. Friends not yeah. farm. Friends not farm. Friends not farm. Yeah. Friends are farm? No. No. Not farm. Oh, okay. No. That's difficult to remember. <laughs> I know. You're you're it, used it to just really turning everything into a farm. Um yeah, oh, fo 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 follow follow. Where are um, we going? It's a little convoluted. There sure there's an easier way Are up you guys going to kill me down here? This feels like a trap. No. Am no, I the farm? No. <laughs> yeah, are, no. are you the farm? No. Yes, we're going to get all seven farm. levels of XP from yes. you right now. We're just <laughs> hauling you into a dark corner of the nether to do his ass. I that. mean, it looks kind of no. like it. Well, I guess they're waiting for us up here now. Oh. Um, okay, so should I begin translating services? I, well, I feel like the ones that have the armor are probably more the ones we want to talk to. They, well, these they guys seem friendly. don't like you. They, they're definitely like me. Oh, they're fine. I'm just going to go talk to these oh, ones down here. Oh, they're like all okay. down here. Oh, yeah, I've been up. here before. I already know about this place. Oh. Yeah. How do you know about our place? Uh, long story, Dan. That's uh, pay, client, patient, privilege, information, oh. lawyer, legal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. They don't seem to want to talk. I'm pretty sure I stole all these diamonds before. Did they get more? Nope. Nope. I, nope. Maybe okay. That's why they don't like you. You stole their diamonds? <laughs> you, you well, yeah, you don't tell di them that. Well, I mean, I think they already know. <laughs> yeah, it looks like <laughs> they, they know or something, because they do not seem happy with you at Hello, all. Hello, frallo piglins. Oink. Oink. Grunt. Oink. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm making great progress over here. Don't worry. Just give I'm me a I'm starting to think he doesn't speak piglin. Oink. Oink. Mm, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, no, they love. They say that you guys have nice hats. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Um, I mean, my hat is pretty snazzy, but it is. It is. They they're giving yeah. you many compliments about that. They don't like mine, as you can tell. Yeah, they don't. They don't seem. To... They're hitting each other. <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah. Maybe we should go with the 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 plan. A, which I guess was plan B suddenly, but now is plan A again. I don't. Yeah, uh, trans translation uh, device. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you could make one? 
for us. I'm, de like, I, I'll pay I'm you. definitely fluent enough in Pig Latin Lish to uh, make that. Okay, you could probably download it from the internet, worst case scenario. That's like, true. You could just use get Google Translate. I mean, have you tried that? I haven't looked, but I have a feeling they don't have a piglin setting. Also, I did try speaking pig Latin to them already, and I, I, I mean, maybe they're pig Roman instead. I don't know. <laughs> well, there are many different dialects of, of the pigs, yeah. so you, you might just have to, you know, shotgun it and try them all. Some of them are in my base, and I think they may have something to do with the, with the yeah. casts spawning oh, in, yeah. the in the overworld oh yeah there's like red stuff at spawn like even more even more red than yeah normal. yeah we saw that too on um, it's kind of fun i like it I i'm mean, a fan it, of it's course. cool but i would rather gas not spawn in the overworld if yeah. i could help it and magma cubes there's magma cubes. oh, oh now oh there's magma, magma cubes yeah. Yeah. The oh, okay home. we gotta fix this okay okay yeah, when, when do you need this translation device -y thing from? Um, Bye. how it's... soon can you have it done? I don't know. Okay. Well, then as soon as that, yes. I gather you here today to present to you the Translimicator 3000. I don't Ooh. know how to spell that, so I didn't make a sign. Oh, okay. Yeah. I approve of the name. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I already forget what I named it. Anyway, so this thing should, in theory, translate from one of several different languages into one of several other languages. Uh, I need to give you guys a tutorial to use this, right? So first of all, yeah. you got to put in the thing into, into the thing. And then okay. uh, you can invert which way it's translating. So from like English to something else or something else to English via that. Uh -huh. And then you got to press the button. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And then you gotta wait, and then that'll turn off. Okay. And then you gotta okay. flick that. Uh, oh. And that. There you go. <gasps> and now we should be able to talk to this guy. I still Mr. can't Pig? understand him. You can't? Oh, okay. Uh, we need to slightly adjust it then. Uh, let's see. Let's try Let's try the next one. Uh, turn it all off. Boop. I mean, it kind of sounds like he's trying to say hello. I might... Uh, it should be fairly obvious once it's working. Oh, that got a reaction. So it appears that he like only wants gold. I mean, that does kind of check out. Yeah, that, that seems that's... about right, honestly. That's fair. Yes, that that but would line up with his interests. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that that's teaching us anything that we didn't already know. I mean, maybe he's just been here so long that he doesn't remember anything, but gold at this stage we kind of have been he, he kind of has been our trader for what like 10 a long, months yeah a long time yeah, i feel like he could now, be slightly yeah. slightly damaged from being in this cell for so long maybe we need some free range pigos <laughs> that's probably a better bet i guess oh, we can pack it up and take it out to the to our friends upstairs huh it, it, it it's worth a try at least i yeah. i really appreciate you you making it for a silent like yeah let's, yeah absolutely yeah, so can... you got to use this disc and then it's got to be on that setting and then you got to press that button flick that thing flick that thing unflick that one press that button again flick that and then flick that oh. one yeah okay yep uh i'll just play the tape back that's usually what i have to do when you when, when you explain something to me. Okay, sounds yeah. great. And then I'll give you all these additional discs, which you can also try out and experiment with in case the other one fails. And there's oh. a three minute warranty on this and no refunds. Okay. And three, I'll see you guys minutes? later. Oh, oh, okay. But th thanks, Silent. Yep. Th thanks. Bye. Bye. Good luck. Uh, I don't know what you. you guys are doing, but good luck. <laughs> so here is the basic foundations of the sword system. As you can see, it looks pretty basic as of now, but the backside of this is gonna be way more complicated than maybe you would expect. We got a lot of area to work with back here, and that is fantastic because we're gonna be needing a lot of different water streams delivering items from each of our different farms. So you know how earlier I mentioned each one of these is gonna kind of function as its own little storage system. So 
for example, the Guardian farm right here is going to be dropped directly into this line, and then absolutely every single item that we get from the Guardian farm is only ever going to go over to here. No other items will go past this section, more or less. So that means that the extreme amount of items that we get only goes to, like, you know, there. Very convenient. Same thing goes for the Kelp and Bamboo farms. Its input is right here, and then no other items will ever travel past this point in the system. The mob farm is a little bit different. I wanted to have string and bamboo right next to each other so I can mass craft that into scaffolding, of course. And the mob farm is going to be the input, and then basically items that we get from the mob farm are going to go all the way across, all the way to the overflow burn pile of the non-stackable item sorter. And that's really it. This entire middle section right here, nothing to say about this. This is all just pretty generic item filters. So in total, we're going to have eight different inputs to the storage system. And it's going to be a pretty fantastic little system, all things considered. It might not have that much storage. It might not be that advanced looking, but it should work for absolutely every single farm that we have in this entire area. So the current challenge with the storage system is figuring out how to actually get items into it because we got this giant ocean monument above us that doesn't really like to be built in a bunch of watery layers and I don't like water I, I should have I should have maybe thought about that before building an ocean base. <laughs> anyway, so the general idea is is to have this little auto dropper system or one similar to it at all of the different mob farms and item farms that we got. And then every single time this gets items in it, it's going to be shooting those items into a water stream or making them fall very very far down. Uh, the items that fall from like the iron farms will fall through the ocean into a water stream, and then eventually all of those water streams will be combined here into this storage system and be put into the correct place so really I just need to build a bunch of water streams to build a bunch of auto droppers and we should start seeing items flow into this system I think what I want to do is the squid farm first all of these things actually already drop items into a water stream because of these auto droppers uh, honestly this entire item collection system is way overpowered and uh, it really doesn't need to be like this but I like how fancy it looks so all of the items as you can see get dropped into this system right here and then they flow over these two hoppers currently we got some temporary storage but if I go ahead and just mine this going straight down more or less uh, that's gonna explode into a bunch of fish let me grab the ink and the bones and the rest of that can just go flying everywhere <laughs> yeah I don't care about any of that so if I dig a hole going through the base of course this is right above a red sun line just my luck anyway the idea is just basically dig a hole going through the floor of this and then drop all the items directly down through the ocean monument into into a water line <laughs> so i got a solution for this i'm sending all of the items from the squid farm to one end as you can see here and then we're aligning them with some glass panes this thing is very noisy <laughs> uh they're gonna fall directly downwards and they should fall directly onto that block as you can see there now the idea is we're going to replace this glass block with like a chain uh, but I kind of want that to be like a vertical chain so let me go ahead and replace that with uh, that block and hopefully yeah all the items should just fall down directly through we can't fall down through this block and then we're gonna pop a hole through the ground there and make all the items fall even further down into the storage system and here comes some items from above and we should see those hopefully fall all the way through we do perfect I love chains so a little while later now I have two water streams coming from the squid farm that one comes from the right side and this one comes from the left side both of these are going to dump items directly into this hole which is directly above the ink filter and then they'll go to the right and all of the fish and other things will be sorted out so we can test out this system by throwing a bunch of items into the water stream and then quickly diving down underneath we should see those chickens fall through the farm and all the way through that water oh yeah look at that they got more than enough momentum that is a lot of momentum so they just jump straight through all those layers of water directly into the water streams and we should see all of those chickens end up into the bulk overflow chest at the very end of the storage system i already threw a bunch in there earlier too just to see if things were working so 
Now, for the moment of truth, we have no chickens. No chickens there either. Where's my chickens at? My chickens are somewhere. I don't know where the chickens went. Aha! I found the case of the missing chicken. Very fine. Okay, so everything ended up in this item filter, which means that we do actually have a fully successful system for the squid farm. So that is basically the general build process of this. This entire base is going to be absolutely riddled with various different water streams. There's going to be water streams going left and right and all over the place. And that's actually going to take quite a few hours to get built and to get looking good as well so i'll probably do a fair amount of that on live streams in between episodes simply because it's not really all that interesting now naturally there's still a lot of additional things that need to be done for the system even after we tie in all the farms because we need to customize it with the smelting arrays with the mass crafters and send items from like you know a to b to b to c to c to a it's gonna be a lot of crazy nonsense. <laughs> so I currently got Silent 2 AFKing at the squid and fish farm up above. And as you can see, we're getting a lot of items from this. As you can see, these item filters over here are actually working for the fish. And I would assume that cod is also, or salmon is also getting filtered as well. Yep, so cod and salmon are now getting filtered into the system. We got the ink sacks filling up and we should also be seeing bones go into the system too and there we go very very nice indeed so that is essentially going to be the full operations of the storage system i really really like how it's broken up into different bits and pieces that way each one of them can kind of work on their own and one farm having really good rates isn't going to break the entire system and backlog it up because you can still put in other farms and have them work really well. I think sectioning it off like this is actually a pretty smart way of doing things for using these single speed item sorters. If we could use water streams like for the actual item filters themselves and not just a hopper line, I totally would, but sadly there's just a few too many bugs to use those reliably. Certain farms are gonna be a little bit difficult to tie into the system like the Guardian farm. We're gonna need ourselves a whole bunch of hopper minecarts right here or something like that to separate all of the items from the experience and then of course send the experience to the AFK spot and send the items down to the uh, storage system but that is something that we can figure out at another time and that is pretty much going to do it for today's episode of truly bedrock season 2 I hope that you have greatly enjoyed I totally just ran directly into that spiral <laughs> Anyway, if you have enjoyed, then of course, make sure to subscribe, help us reach 400,000 on the channel, and then of course, you'll know when more episodes release like this on the channel. If you did enjoy the video, maybe consider leaving a like or sharing it with your friends. Both of those things are amazingly helpful, and thank you so much for doing so. Otherwise, I'll see you guys down in the comment section and in the next one. Thank you again so very much for watching, and then there was silence.